Hi everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with the iOS 17 beta. I've been using it for a few weeks now, and I've had a mixed bag of experiences. There have been a few bugs that I've encountered. For example, my iPhone lags when I open my app store. I wait a long time and it's still blank. Also, I noticed that my battery was draining faster than usual. There was still enough power before going to bed yesterday, but now I find that it only has so much power left. Fortunately, the overheating of the phone is not that serious. In addition, I wonder if you have encountered the phenomenon of repeated fonts on the unlock page. Amazing, isn't it? I've also seen reports from other users who have had similar problems. Some people have reported that iMessage is not delivering messages to Android users. Others have said that they've had problems sending text messages and rotating the screen. Hope that Apple will fix these problems soon. If you're having problems with the iOS 17 beta, you can always downgrade to iOS 16. Here I'll show you an easy way to do it in just a few clicks. Don't forget to back up your data before the downgrade begins. Next, open Tenorshare Reiboot on your computer and plug your iPhone in. Select the downgrade function here. And see, Reiboot has automatically fetched the iOS 16.5 firmware for your iPhone. Just click it. When the process is done, click on the Initiating Downgrade option and Reiboot will pop up a window. If you have backed up the data, click Continue. Reiboot will begin to downgrade your iPhone back to iOS 16. This process could take a while, so make sure your network environment is good. Well done now let's go ahead and set it up. When we get to the app and data screen, you can choose to restore it from iCloud. You can also start fresh by setting up your iPhone as a new device. That's it. If you want to learn how to restore a backup from iTunes, you can check out our previous video. See you.